All right, we're going to jump into a swing check here for Brian. Um, by the way, you guys, if any of you would be interested in actual coaching, um, you know, I have a link in my bio. You guys are, are welcome to click on that and sign up for monthly coaching. I feel like it's a, a pretty good way for you guys to really start to take the information and um, be able to actually apply it. So um, starting off here for Brian, he's got a little bit of an outside takeaway there, but then it goes quickly inside. That's totally fine. As we get up to the top of the golf swing, I can see you're doing a good job and loading into your trail knee there. Get you up to a full backswing. Now, here's the thing. I don't mind a, a big backswing, but where that becomes a problem is if you watch how his shoulders go from kind of a relatively decent tilt. Actually, it's pretty, still pretty low on shoulder tilt. But now, as he continues to go back, watch how much his shoulders start to really level off here, right? And so now you get a little bit of that tabletop shoulder position at the top, which um, is going to, it can cause some issues. So keeping that right shoulder down, much more down in the takeaway is definitely going to help. And then also notice how because his shoulders continue to turn and turn and turn, see how much his head now comes off of the ball? Right, So he started on the ball, and now his head is just kind of continuing to go back with that shoulder turn. Now, let's dive into the downswing. As we start the downswing, um, doing a good job of trying to get the body out of the way, but that shaft angle is definitely still a little bit too steep. That should be parallel to the primary swing plane line there. And see how the club head stays on top of the primary swing plane line? If anything, that club head should be underneath because the longer the club, the more shallow it should be swung. And here you're going to see how the club head is out in front of the golf ball. So he's going to have to pull across the golf ball there to make contact. Now he does have really good um, hip rotation, but you can see if I get rid of all the lines here, you can see how much he's jammed up in his spine because his hips have slid forward while rotating rather than the hip um, actually staying back and then allowing this left shoulder to drop down and in the shot. And then from there, he's going to continue to pull across the body. And that's where you see this left elbow hinge. Okay. So there's just a few things that really need to be cleaned up here in order to be more effective. Again, if you'd like some coaching, uh, feel free to click on the link in my bio. I hope that helps. As always, aim small, swing smooth. Peace.